but uh, uh, there, uh, it is necessary to warm relations and to uh, promote some kind of peace between these two uh, sides. And then Georgia will be a major transitive country, I think. So if the relations will work um, and uh, be warm uh, between these two. Thank you, please. Member of the do you have any questions? Please. Keep in mind that uh, Central Asia is rich of uh, energy resources and uh, the transit road via Russia infrastructure road, I mean, is not ready to fully transit these energy resources via Russia. How do you see them? What is the alternative way these energy resources fully transfer to the European Union? Um, yes. Um, I think uh, there are in Central Asia uh, in the Shanghai uh, Treaty, which uh, in which their oil uh, produced uh, countries, Russia and China, will sign uh, signed uh, in the past, and uh, uh, they should. Uh, mm, uh, I think that uh, there should be some uh, um, good relations. They are politically uh, some kind of agreement uh, between uh, Russia and NATO uh, to let Georgia and other such kind of transitive countries uh, to um, provide uh, European countries a uh, secure situation. Thank you. Now we have a question from our special guest. Please, Mr. Ambassador.
ready uh, to become the major transit country. So if we will be ready to transit this uh, supply to European countries, this uh, energy resources, then it would be fine, very good uh, for our country also and for the European Union. So I want to say that nowadays we are not ready and uh, we have no so secure, uh, secure environment around us uh, to be the major transit route for European countries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear participants, for this special debate. It was very interesting for us to listen to your arguments from different points of view. But I just would like to remind you that defending a Turkish position doesn't mean that you have to go against your country's national interests. <laughs> now, I, Tony, Tony Gale will introduce our special guest. Please, Tony Gale. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I would like to um, introduce His Excellency Mr. Thomas Luck, and I would like here to mention Mr. Thomas that in this eighth of finals, there are two persons who were uh, generously funded by your embassy in their uh, like foreign educational experience. So thank you very much. And please. Uh, 
the data is all about Article 5, first of all. It's a security organization. I think it's a, first of all, it's a defense organization.